Just another, a, a very quick, easy one you could do is just put two balls on the spots, uh, like up one or two, eight and nine and whatever, and you literally, it's good for practicing because it's like a bit of a nine ball shot. So you've got to pop the eight in either corner pocket and then get back on the nine and re-spot it, you know, and just keep doing it and see him. I was speaking to Stephen Henry at a tournament once and he were telling me, cause I said, oh, what did you used to do when you were practicing? And he said, oh, I used to practice on my own, I didn't practice with anyone. And he said he used to put the black and the pink on the spot and he used to pop the pink first in the middle and then get on the black and then pop the black and the pink had to go in the middle. And I think he said the record he did it was, I think he said he did a hundred or something like that, you know, consecutive. And I know it sounds a bit boring, but obviously if you're doing that all day and then when he's going into a match and obviously you've been doing that, it seems easy. So when he told me that, I just thought, well, what could you do on a nine ball table? So I just thought, well, you could sort of do it like this, put the ball there. And then obviously, cause you're leaving your angle. So you're always coming off two cushions back into the middle. And then you can go either pocket, do you know what I mean? So if you've potted that one in that pocket, when you come onto the nine, after you've potted the nine, try and swing it round. So the eight's got to go in that pocket and obviously just score until you miss. Uh, we've done a video where this is for like screwing back, top spin and all that. You just put a row of balls along there. Uh, depending on what kind of level you're at, this row of diamonds here, you can start off there and you pop the ball and you have to screw back. And if you land it in this area, you give yourself a point. If you land within the point to the rail, two points. So you're just screwing back, do you know what I mean? So that's two points because I've broke this point line. I'm happy with that, seeing as what happened last night. <laughs> so you do every shot off this diamond. And do it with 10 balls, see how many points you get, write it down, and then move to this diamond, because obviously it's going to get harder. And then this diamond. But you can also do the same with topspin to do it on that side. You know, just stuff like that. Just making them up, really. I've just sort of made them up, if you like, do you know what I mean? Usually the shots you get left with are like these kind of shots and you're spinning it round. So I usually start off doing this just to get my timing going and warmed up. Or what I'll do is, um, with the row of balls, I'll just cue off the cushion and just practice that. Just general things, I don't like sort of um, do like crazy things where if you don't keep doing it and you're getting wound up, do you know what I mean? I'm just, I, it's all about feel, do you know what I mean? This game's all about feel. So I'm just doing everything just to feel the shot. I'm sort of concentrating more on the feel, do you know what I mean? So just like, not saying I, I practice this, but it's like just delivering it through, you know what I mean? Just getting the cue ball back, that's all I'm doing. Or people play straight pool. Uh, I don't know if you've ever played that, seen that, where you leave the last ball on. Uh, and then you have to pot it to go into the pack. That's quite a good game to practice because let's say if you've run 21, the day after when you come back, 21's your, your, your target, innit? do you know what I mean? Then you might run 46, so whatever your record is, it doesn't matter what level you're at. If, if I've run 300 and you've run 30, it doesn't matter because when you come back, you know what you've got to beat, do you know what I mean? Just stuff like that, really. That's all I do. Or what I do is, if, if, I've, if I've got like a tournament coming up, I'll just put, um, It, it all sounds kind of sort of like monotonous and boring stuff, but I'll just practice like this kind of thing cut, but I'll do it for about half an hour, then I'll move on to this one. I'll just keep doing it. Because I know when I'm going into a match, you have to pot the ball, that's the game. So my mindset is just keep practicing potting the ball, do you know what I mean? So then when I go to a tournament, I know I've like, obviously done half an hour on this shot and this shot, just all the different shots, that's all I do. I don't really have like, sort of major drills to do and stuff like that. Just literally just keep potting the ball on me. Yeah, so just do it on there. But you, you know, you, so you, the, the best thing to do here is, once you've sort of mastered this, like I feel like I would have mastered that diamond. So I'll always practice from this diamond, do you know what I mean? So that like, he's on two points there, do you know what I mean? Good shot. So there's another two points. 
done you know so that's one point so he's on five points you know what I mean So he's on six. Seven. Seven. Just slow down. You know, before when you asked me, what did you say to me? A big thing what you see with amateurs, everything like trying to do everything at 100 miles an hour, just just slow down a bit, you know, just think about everything. That's all I'm trying to do, just think about like you know, feel the shot. No, and obviously, obviously it's like straight off the bat as well, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You know. Yeah, but you can see you can play, but it's just then you got a bit giddy and got really quick. It's just, do you know what I mean? All it is, it's just slowing down, and you know, it, it's about. It's not oh, I've practiced for eight hours today. It's about I've practiced for an hour, but it was quality. Do you know what I mean? Rather than quantity, that's all it is.